people I live with here in Fresno enjoyed the dumping the ice on them. So I'm sure they will uh, do so again. But for an important uh, cause. Well, Tammy, we uh, we thank you and uh, all who have uh, joined us tonight, Linda, and, of course, uh, Margie, and certainly uh, Jenica, as always, for uh, coming down uh, from all parts of uh, the Northern California and Central Valley. Thank you so much for having us. We enjoy it very much. All right. Again, welcome anytime. So we said thank all from the ALS Association. Again, ALSA, Golden West, and Don Org. No balls and one strength to count to Heideman and swings and fouls it off toward the left side near the Sacramento. They got 0 2. No balls and two strikes to count to Tyler Heineman. Two to one Fresno, bottom of the seventh inning. Still some daylight here as Mahia delivers, and Heineman goes down for that breaking pitch and comes up empty. Strike three. Looks like that two out. The only blemish tonight for Mahia. The two run homer by Bregman in the third. Five strikeouts now for Adalberto Mahia. Two to one Fresno, and now for the fourth time tonight, Fresno will go to the top of its order for the second base with Tony Kim. Now, he was up with the bases loaded in the fourth inning and grounded into a 6-4-3 double play as he goes around to the changeup strike 101. Experience entertainment at its best with the sounds of summer concert series with the music of country, rock and roll, tribute bands, and packing a punch with MMA twice. Secure your reserve seats today. They're available online at chancygold.com, at the Gallery Boutique, or by calling 1-866-7-WIN-WIN. The 0 1 to Kim Low Ball 1 1 and 1. That's chickchanseygold.com at the Gallery Boutique or by calling 1 866 7 Win More entertainment only at Chickchansey Gold Resorts and Casino. One ball and one strike to count. 2 to 1 Fresno. The pitch to Kim strike. Two called on the outside corner. One ball and two strikes. So action all around to the bullpens right now. Brendan McCurry, I'm guessing we're going to see him in the eighth inning. Stephen Okert and Jake Dunning. Okert the lefty, Dunning the right-hander in the Sacramento left field bullpen. Now the Rivercats had a great chance to tie the game in the sixth inning after scoring one run. They had a runner in third, nobody out, couldn't get him in. One, two to Kemp, inside fastball, low ball two. Two balls and two strikes. Longest that Mejia has gone as a Rivercat. Seven innings. Again, that was with the Sacramento debut at home against El Paso, June 18th. Three-quarter windup with the 2-1 on the way to Kemp. Or the 2-2 on the way to Kemp inside ball, 3-3-2. Three, three and two. Longest outing this year for Mejia. Overall, May 30th, eight and two-thirds innings. That game I was referencing earlier where he struck out 10 games, 10 to batters at Erie. Three balls and two strikes to Kemp. And that's double-A for the Tigers in the Eastern League. A wind up of the payoff. Strike three call. Breaking pitch there, and Kemp knew it. Good pitch on the inner half of the plate. Mejia, good outing tonight. Now with six strikeouts and ten in a row set down by Mejia. The last three innings, of 